this fall. It's called... I know that voice. Hokey smoke, I know that voice. Hi, my name is John DiMaggio. My name is Billy West. My name is Tara Strong. Eric Bowser. I am Kevin Conroy. My real name is Tom Kenny. June Foray. And I'm Jess Harnell. I'm Carlos Alas Rocky. My name is uh, David Kay. <laughs> I'm Charlie Ever. I'm Rachel McFarland. I'm Mika Futterman. My name is Andrea Romano. I approach voiceover as music, almost. Most voiceover people love music. You're musically inclined, you have an instinctive understanding of the music of speech. Because every character has a rhythm. If you think of a Yogi Bear, it was like music. It was like... Na -na 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 -na. Mel Blanc, of course, is the name you have to kind of throw out first because he lit the way for just about everybody else. He can do so many different kinds of voices. This looks like a job for Super Rabbit. Voice actors weren't even getting credit in cartoons. Hey, you're plumb right. June Foray, uh, talk about I Know That Voice. When you trace her back, she was on like, back in the 40s. She was a hero. These people were all heroes of mine. She's 90 plus years old now and still working and still working. You could teach them techniques of getting closer or whispering, but it comes from the heart. The big thing about the progression in, in voiceovers is video games. Video game, you have to do so much more recordings, the volume of it. It's really dominating, you know, entertainment in general. It just makes so much money. Any prompt, any kind of a thing that comes up within the video game, you have that response. <laughs> Is he okay? And now, video games has really come to, I think, a level of doing film. A lot of people think that voiceover is about doing funny voices. It's totally not. Voiceover is about creating characters. If they really are doing it right, they've gone through that emotional process that got them to that point, and they're feeling whatever that character had to feel. For the most part, people wouldn't guess that Bubbles is the same as Terrence from Foster's Home. I'm not a chubby guy, baby. Ooh, that's even better! All the way in Malaysia. Because one is like a very high-pitched girl like this, and the other's a dude. I like to look at what the character's about, how it's drawn, what the face looks like, who the character is, what city they're in, what time it is. Maybe it's a different planet. I don't necessarily go into a real thinking cartoon. I think, how would this being sound? You know, if they want some kind of monster voice, they'd be like, okay, that's good right there. You can kind of keep that, you know, a couple of teeth. Well, he's got to be impaired somehow. You make him a little more dumber, too, so so you can kind of slow him down. And I put two together. You start fused them or super collided them. It's not really a kid voice, like like a Charlie Brown realistic kid voice. First I thought Mojo was a nice monkey, then I kicked in his face! But it's not really an adult either. Vivo gorditas, I think I'm in love. Tigger, would you please stop bouncing? It's very annoying. Marvin the Martian from the Looney Tunes show. Isn't that lovely? Young lady, bring me a sandwich from the dumpster. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, baby. And leave the maggots on it. Coming soon, in a theater near you. <laughs> Do you really think that it's best to keep the veil of privacy? Oh, yes, wait, hold on. Yes, go ahead, ask me the next question. <laughs>